Good morning, Kasia. Good morning. How are you? Okay, thanks. And you? Yeah, also doing good. Woke up not a long time ago. I got into this pretty late schedule where, I don't know, I wake up around 10, sometimes even 11. And yeah, my day kind of seems to be weird, but I feel like time is so irre irrelevant right now. So there's no point expressing out or being nervous about something. Maybe even like this thing of like going to bed and knowing that there's nothing waiting for you tomorrow makes me want to sleep so long or just like sleeping till 11. <laughs> the ease yeah. of my mind. <laughs> and where are you in the world right now for uh, everyone watching? Uh, Right now I'm in Girona, Girona, Spain, in full lockdown. All right, so only going out for petrol and essentials, food? Yeah, I just, I have like a daily routine, let's say that after breakfast I go to get groceries and then just like stroll around. Because what I like about Girona is the fact that we have so many different little stores and you have to visit all of them in order to get all your needed products so it's not that you go to this giant store or grocery market so it gives you like extra time outside you now you go to a cheese store to a yogurt store to like vegetable market so it's like a little journey that you can take in the morning that's really nice so you can get some more yeah. sunshine and feel exactly. a bit normal as well yeah definitely Although it seems weird because normally people, um, Spanish people are very welcoming and always happy and talkative. And now I can notice that no one even say hola anymore. Not everyone is just like focused on looking at their feet and just like being very distant. I know what you mean. There's it's kind so of, but in a way, like when, because people in the UK where I am, uh -huh. um, they have to keep two meters apart in theory but what i take from it is that it's actually a way of strangers showing they care about like another stranger like if they're yeah. keeping the distance it means they're saying yeah. like, i really respect you i respect the rules yeah uh, that's and it have to be this way yeah which yeah. is kind of nice because strangers didn't really interact at all before in any way in london yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah i agree with that so what is a new cash of routine at home as well like are you finding yourself with more time to be creative or, or to like develop new skills yeah definitely i feel that i have a time to just also think about things that i wouldn't think before or pay more attention to little details that normally i would only know just like ignore and <clears throat> definitely i spend more time cooking and baking i feel like i'm getting used to not used to it but i'm getting obsessed with it it's like sometimes i wake up during the night and thinking about different recipes that i just read before going to sleep and then i feel like thinking how could i combine them or what could i do different and i feel like my mind is all about cooking and baking right now <laughs> and i'm pretty lucky to share a partner with quite a big guy who loves to eat so whenever I cook or whatever I bake, he always eats it. So that's a good sign for me because it makes me feel so, dis so satisfied as if I won a race, you know? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I did something. Well, it's so weird, but I feel like over, like, I've been racing for six, seven years. And I feel like after a certain amount of time, you kind of lose the real passion that drives you so crazy to be doing it with so much love and light and i feel like kind of baking reminds me of those feelings you know that you can get by doing simple things but just like for yourself yeah or for others <laughs> yeah. what have been uh, some of the best uh, best meals best dishes that you've been preparing you know, so what I love about especially baking is the fact that sometimes like when I make muffins or different and uh, not talking or sweet potato bread, is the fact that you can kind of experiment in the kitchen. I don't like to follow the recipe. I feel like I've been always that way, even like with the training, never following exactly what was written down. And then you can like add one ingredient that you think it's 
it's right for this dough or take something out and it's just like playing around you now and then waiting for the result so usually i would like try to just make a lot of different breads as i said before sweet potato bread or banana bread and when it comes to cooking then i just like try to always clean up the fridge never leave any leftovers or never waste the food especially in this time i feel like it wouldn't be fair so yeah just as i said before experimenting i sometimes i even don't know how to call the dish that i just made i feel like i started to combine polish kitchen with like international kitchen so this is the thing like if you and i'm assuming you're living with taylor mm -hmm. so what's it like with the fusion of kind of polish and american cooking uh does it work uh, he, yeah he loves it he loves he loves polish cuisine i mean polish kitchen is pretty heavy so i try to change it in a way that i add less i don't know oil or whatever but our kitchen is based on potatoes and meat. We're vegetarian right now, so I try to kind of like introduce um, pierogi, for example, or potato pancakes that he loves. Or like, uh, I don't know, I ask my mom in the morning, what, was, what is she going to make for lunch or dinner today? And then I kind of steal her idea and combine it with like a modern food, let's say. Hmm. Well, this is the other thing about the situation we find ourselves in uh, do you have you found you're in contact more with family friends teammates that kind of thing um to be honest i feel like um i wouldn't say that during the day i get bored or i have i don't know what to do with myself um i'm pretty lucky to live with taylor because he's a very entertaining guy like he always finds something to do and with that I get motivated or inspired to also just to do something with my time. He like makes music. So as I said before, I spend so much time in the kitchen. So then after preparing a meal, of course you have to clean up. And then I just try to still take care of my body, obviously. So I go ride on this wave and then do yoga. And so then I just sit down and uh, learn some English or try to write things down. So there's always something to do. And yeah, I feel like I've been talking with my friends quite a lot, but I wouldn't say that I spend like every day at least two hours on the phone chatting with others. It's more like every day now, like kind of normal lifestyle, I would say. Nothing extraordinary. Yeah, that's okay. And when it kind of yeah, comes to. Sorry, go on. I feel that also people in those times realize that basically like it's you don't need that much to be happy you know if you're in the right place with the right person it's not that you're needing more it's not that you have to have all those objects or to be doing those crazy things kind of you can find a peace in the same in, in a simple city yeah well hopefully also we we're going to come out of this scenario with even more value placed on some of the people who are paid the least, who do the most. Yeah, know, like exactly. Doctors, nurses, key workers. Right, exactly. With all these people, um, suddenly it's like the modern society is only just fully waking up to how, how important they are to yeah. the life, you know? Seriously. Yeah, what I can see, and I feel really sorry for our police officers. Sometimes they are walking around the street and it's raining, and they feel are they are there out there, just like I don't know, making sure that everyone is safe, no one is taking any risk. So yeah, and then as you said, then we have this another level of nurses and doctors who really risk their lives. And we're asking um, all the pro cyclists this. Uh, can, I, can you recommend, it could be a book you've really liked, a film, an app, a podcast, okay. something like that for our watchers, uh, for uh, our viewers? So I do not watch that many movies or also I do not listen to many podcasts, but um, 
I have a couple of very nice movies that I love. So I would divide them into a few categories, like kind of intense movies. Then it would be for sure Seven Pounds or Green Mile. Old classics, but I just love them. They break my heart, but I don't know, I just love them. I and I love comedies, of course. I would say every comedy with Adam Sandler is my favorite. And then also I love the romantic movies where, I don't know, I would say mm, The Letter in the Bottle or all the, all the movies from Nicholas Sparks are the ones that kind of also stole my heart. But by the way, I'm also very bad with the movie names. Like sometimes I can watch a movie and then two minutes later, I even don't remember the name of it. So <laughs> I'm a bad person to ask me for any recommendations. No, no, that's fine. Right, that's right. <laughs> Uh, Sandler one. I think it's Uncut Gems. Can you repeat? You were um, breaking Uncut up. Gems with Adam Sandler. It's the latest one. I think it got Oscar nominated. It's not a normal yeah, we... film by him. Okay. Not, I think it's not a comedy. I haven't seen it. Have you? Okay. No, also, I, I haven't seen this one. Okay, maybe. Apparently it's watch it. Okay. I'll watch it. <laughs> And I guess I'll find a time for it today. Yeah, this is the thing. I think there's time to do slightly more yeah. these days. <laughs> exactly. And that's the thing, like now you, you cannot say like, oh, I have no time. You know, most of you agree on it. anything that you hear from somebody, yeah. from any request or, yeah. It question. changes your concept of time, doesn't it? Yeah. And what you do mm -hmm. with your time. Um, yeah, right. Um, I suppose we should mention cycling. Um, what what does this big change mean for you personally um, and for kind of women's pro cycling in general, do you think? Um, you mean this break, this entire... Yes, yeah. Um, well, maybe the for the whole season, the consequences as well. Okay. To be like, when I think ahead, uh, once I saw this article saying that we might be racing Ardennes Classic at the end of August and then I realized that oh man that actually would be super sweet because you prepare for Classic and then you have Worlds so it's not that you're doing a bunch of different stage races and suddenly you have to prepare for one day Classic, one day race so I, I kind of, to be honest I kind of like it to just like start racing pretty late and then you basically race every weekend. Maybe it's difficult for people who want to target all those important races like Flanders and then also Ardennes and then, I don't know, Yorkshire and then Giro and things like that. That wouldn't be possible to be racing for three months nonstop, like full gas. So that would be difficult, but I don't know. For now, to be honest, I haven't been thinking that much about cycling. I haven't been thinking about myself as a cyclist. I was kind of more worrying about everything what was happening around us, and just like realizing how small we are and how, I don't know, irrelevant everything what we say is. Because you can be playing so many different things and at the end of the day, you can't, you can't change anything if virus like this appears, for example. So I've realized that it's so important to just like live in the presence which I wasn't doing for so many years because I know that every day I would be thinking already about the next day, about the next training, about the next effort, next travel. And my mind always would be like 24 hours ahead. And now I'm realizing that it feels so nice to be calm in your head and to be in the place where you are at and with the people that are around you. Right now, it's, it's pretty limiting because I have just one person around me. But still, like, if you have friends around you, it's so nice to actually listen to them and talk with them instead of, like, be thinking in your head what you have to do or, I don't know, drifting away and completely ignoring them because it's so unfair. And at the end of the day, it's all about love and light and maybe that's all. Even, like, yeah, nothing more. Because I know that it's also so easy to 
um, lose yourself in a chase of career and money and achievements and like building a house, buying a houses and things like this. And yeah, as I said again before, nothing really matters. Yeah. Well, we never know what's possible. Like, for example, there could be a career change for you. Uh, maybe you're going to have your own YouTube cooking channel, cooking oh. show or something, and you won't even yeah. be a pro cyclist. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, but sometimes I feel, you know, because sometimes I add like maybe, you know, five stories about me cooking, and then I think, like, oh man, maybe I'm annoying, you know, maybe <laughs> people don't like it that I'm just like adding different dishes on my story, but then I'm like, okay, it's, it's my page, so <laughs> this yeah. is me. And a final question um, What are you most looking forward to when normal life, for want of a better word, continues definitely just being outside i feel like i grew up uh in the nature being outside almost all the time and i feel like that thing has never been taken away from me and now i realize that i really miss just like being in the open air and going wherever i want i mean i'm talking about being on the bike right now just like feeling that I'm not, it's not, I don't feel trapped, but feeling that there are no limits, you know. Okay, well, yeah. um, well all my best wishes to you and Taylor, and... Same for you. Enjoy your beautiful day, and there is a quarantine time. Yeah. Stay safe and healthy. Uh, and you too, and enjoy your time in Girona, and yeah, we'll be in touch soon. Thanks again. Really appreciate it. Okay. Meet Bye. you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.